Hello once again audience, welcome back to another new game. Today we are playing Marvel Midnight Sun. So this game came out last year and it was pretty neat, but I never got around to playing it. But now it was like 60% off for the whole game and like all its DLC and I was like mm, $40 for a hundred dollar pack? Why yes. So, uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna do, uh, normal. Uh, yeah, we'll play that to a toy. Launch the campaign! So I don't really know, uh, you get to play as your own custom character and alongside other Marvel heroes, so I don't really know other than that. Oh my god! Crossbones. I should know. You know how much I hate this hocus pocus nonsense, Faustus. Now you want to tell me just what the hell is so important? That looks important. Sleeping mother, sacred harbinger, awaken and reclaim what is yours. You who rise with the moon in darkness, who prepares the path for the midnight sun. Oh, they said the thing, we'll title. Turn your merciless eyes upon us and arise! Nice Guys, shot. nothing now, happened. Next time, call Zemo. Better yet, I'll just shoot you and save us all the trouble. That can't be good. You know, I played a lot of horror games. When green s smoke starts rising out from the... Yeah, when that starts happening, you want to run. played it uh, while it was free for a weekend six months later and he said it's really good rest in I can feel it rocks love trouble in the air Roxanne Simpson more innocent blood joining you soon <laughs> head back to your magic castle you ain't welcome here Johnny Blaze, original Ghost Rider, doesn't like you either. I like that. That's awesome. It's called a sanctum. And welcome or not, this is where fate has determined the Sorcerer Supreme needs to be. Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, Liquid is happy to talk about it. Tell fate. Answers no. This is the secret guardian you dragged me 5,000 miles to meet? Who's the mouth? Mr. Stark is brash, but I assure you, he can be trusted. Wait, you seriously don't know who I am? The fabric of magic is shifting, Johnny. The prophecy of the Midnight Sun is upon us. Your last crusade cost me plenty. This time, I intend to look after my own. Hey, pal, I don't think you understand. Things are changing. Two plus two no longer equals four. Up is sometimes down, and Strange here is actually starting to make sense. Do I look like someone who gives a damn about any of that? No, you look Dang. like you should be bouncing for the double deuce. Listen, all I know is Hell's coming, and my pal here says you can help. That's where you're wrong. Hell's not coming. It's already here. You're welcome, Robo-Man. Iron Man? 
robo man, billionaire, next character, supposedly famous. <laughs> I'm like this already. It's okay. It's fine. I know what he meant. Oh, he's just gonna leave us? Okay. We come all, all the right. way out here. Let's the old man see. runs off with that precious page of yours. Playing cards. What do you mean types of cards carnival. represent you their abilities, the attacks, skills, and heroics? Johnny Blaze has sacrificed One a great deal for this world already. Now, so activate it, and then I am left certain it. Okay. Come each turn you play. Time. Each turn you receive three cards. Just time was the one thing we didn't have. Tax. Uh, all right. Uh, Let's just wrap this up. I've got sand in my nanopolymer weave. Okay. Blast. Um. Anyway, you know oh, look at that. I killed one already. Oh, that? It was nothing. Blast, uh, that oh, one. Work. Hey, the jerk store called. They're running low on you guys. <laughs> Am I really gonna have to bring out the big guns for this? Alright, here is and far as play okay, air superiority. Let's do it. That was easy. Not bad. Master at this game already. Not great, but not bad. Okay, in turn. We haven't quite broken their spirit yet. Uh, I see that. Yeah, you're gonna need the help. Okay. Two types of enemies, minions and leads. Minions have no health, elites have higher health. That suit may Got be it. a marvel of technology, but it's no match for the mystic arts. Allow me Back. to demonstrate. Oh, so it's a contest now. Then you take the extra creepy one. Oh, that's cool. I truly doubt they're paying you enough for what's about to happen. Impressive. of your chances but stranger things have happened you won't oh no strange all that easily owie it appears they've bolstered their forces i see that probably uh, still won't be enough but you can try now that i have their attention Heads perhaps up. a blessing is in order something protective well, i could give you a hand or a shield in this case in the spirit of cooperation, oh, Alan. I'll accept your offer. Just this once. Huh, don't mention it. Yes. Prepare yourself! I know that wasn't your signature move. Watch and pray. It's for the best, trust me. Heck I won't yeah. forget this. Alright. I don't have any cards to play, but I have heroism. They broke through his defense. They seem insistent on attacking me. Man, there's a lot of reinforcements. Right. Perhaps there's a bounty on the Sorcerer Supreme. I think they're pissed off. This spell changed the very demeanor of our enemies. Something along the lines of the psionic manipulations of Eros and Titan. Can't make it happen in the next 10 seconds. I'm not interested. The will yeah, yeah. I probably shouldn't have bought this game and because there's another game that I want <laughs> that's coming out. Throw this. Let's 
Let's give it a go. That's the last of them, which is good. I might as well pepper out this thing as it was. I'm the one who's still singing. Here we go. That was really something. This should be good. Yeah, yeah. Whatever gets the job done. If I'm being honest, that encounter went better than I expected. Tony, I've been noticing a recurring gamma spike. You see, this is why you shouldn't eat spicy food, Bruce. Localized in the West Village, converging on the Sanctum. What? The collective works of the universe's greatest sorcerers, and he left them underneath the takeout menus. <sighs> Shifting mystical polarities are wreaking havoc on my portals. You don't say. You okay, kid? Scarlet Witch, strangest new apprentice. It's complicated. Yes. Are you? Let's, uh, put a pin in that. Whoa. Captain Marvel, first mighty hero. Really freaking powerful. Carol. Bruce and I have been trying to reach you. He'd have come himself, but he's... Oh, you did the big green guy proud. I really should up my homeowner's insurance. Miss Maxim, the wards of protection, if you please. Stephen, I can fight. I've got control now. Then show me by activating the wards. In the meantime, in honor of our missing companion, the rest of you may feel free to smash away. For the mother! I must be the popular one today. Nice right. one, Carol. Switching targets, tabs, quickly switch targets. You know I don't mess around. Besides, we picked up some crazy gamma readings coming from, well, here. Guessing that explains the high you're doing. Yes, but not why you failed to use the front door. Um, hi, how about we discuss proper hero landing etiquette after we take down the bad guys? Love the effort. How do I redraw? Redraw this card. Jail. 
interesting tactic. We're losing ground. Yeah, you are. Hey, don't shoot the magic guy. Hard beta moving into position. I guess you don't know who I am. You must kick the coach first. Shouldn't take long. Oh, that Davenport was at least a century old. What a. They don't all have to be pretty. Watch closely. <laughs> this should aid me in my fight. That's the spirit. I dream mortalis. Owie. Keep trying. Maybe you'll get lucky. You're still not ready to give up. The show here. Alright, finished battle. These guys just keep showing up. They are surprisingly relentless. In any event, we must provide Wanda the time she needs to activate the wards of protection. Take more than that, I'm afraid. We're three of the world's strongest sailors, right? Doesn't it seem like this should be easier? I passed through scroll star cruisers that went down faster. Something's up. Yes, I Someone. Well, that's one way to make an entrance. Gozer? Lilith. <laughs> Mother of demons, harbinger of the midnight sun. Prophecy or not, you overstep. Challenging the Sorcerer Supreme. Be silent. Be 
fellow daughter of Transia. You remind me of my own beloved. In virtute Vishanti! Well, that's well one way done, Miss Maximoff. Your, party gets. your unique energy surprised her. Whoa. I'm fine. What? I'm fine. The prophecy is in motion. Lilith is still out there growing stronger each second the midnight sun approaches. Define stronger. If we are to have any chance of stopping her, there is only one option left to us. I won't go back there. We all must eventually face our demons, Miss Maximoff. However, one of us should remain behind to maintain the wards of protection. See you on the other side. Lilith returns. I completed the tutorial. Sure, it's taking a while to load the level. Okay, you did that one on purpose. The fabric of magic is unwinding. We are fortunate to be here at all. And where is here, exactly? Salem, Massachusetts. Well, a pocket dimension in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, suburbs. Nice. Welcome to the Abbey, home of the Midnight Sun. <laughs> what the hell is this? Lilith's Junior Demon League? Wait, it's that jerk from TV. Which one? Now, if everyone would just take a moment... Enough! Last of the blood of the blood immortals form the midnight suns. You're standing on my flowers. Oh, it's been a long time, Sarah. It's caretaker now. If I could have avoided this moment, I would, but... Oh, spare me the speech. I know Lilith's back. We are sisters after all. Oh. Guess we're suddenly invisible now. Shall we chat, Stephen? No one can argue that the Hunter earned their rest in the first battle against Lilith. I only hope they are up for the task once more. You wizards always make everything sound so lofty. I raised my sister's only child as a weapon against her. And saved the world in the process. Now you want me again, to dig them up it's a sister. and ask them to do it again. I did not write the prophecy, Sarah. Besides, I am no common grave robber. We are simply reuniting their ethereal essence with their corporal form. Speaking of, it would help to have a mental image for the procedure. Spare no detail. Spiritual identity theft is no laughing matter. <laughs> Now we get to make our own character. Yes. Yes. Nope. 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 That tan. Not that pale. Right, right about there. Eye color. Blue. Green. Yeah, they, they did not, uh. Not a lot. Yes. <laughs> no hair. Buzz cut. No cut. No. No.
Yeah, that one. Yep, that's me in a nutshell. Uh, yep. Uh, wait, no. That one. No, that's not my hair right now. My hair is like that. No, it is not that. It's right, like right now it's like that, but a little bit more on the side. Okay, that's gotta be it. Eyebrow color, brown, facial. Nope. Nope. Not that glorious yet. It's not that a little bit. Mm, mm, getting there. No. Perfect. Look at me. I'm beautiful. As far as resurrection spells are concerned, I've seen worse. Particularly on myself. Tony, come on. It's perfectly safe. That thing wakes up and takes a bite out of you. Don't blame me. Huh? hours are over. You can't stay here forever. There's nowhere else I should be. Just saw that Stark guy poking around behind the mirror table. Find me as soon as they awaken. And Blade. Be nice. Always am. Part One The Awakening. I'm alive. Ooh, I'm so, so tiny. cold. But the air burns with every breath. Has it been so long? That's nice allergies for you. this place. In my dreams, it was always empty. But now I sense I am not alone. Have to admit, Hunter, you make one hell of an entrance. Speak for yourself. Guess that makes two of us. You should have struck when you had the chance, vampire. You will not live to regret your error. Cute. And caretaker told me to be nice. Relax, Slayer. I'm a friend. You just don't know it yet. Yes. I saw you with Sarah before. But what would she want with a vampire? Unless... The name's Blade. And I'm no ordinary vampire. I get you've been out of commission, but I thought you noticed since we're having this little showdown under the freaking sun. Yeah, that was kind of obvious. <coughs> Daywalkers were a myth, even to me. Says the half-human, half-demon monster hunter. Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> You're right, I do hunt monsters. You 
You appear quite versed in my history, Dampier. Heard my fair share of stories that from Kirtaker. Matthew Mercer? The legendary hunter. Child of Lilith. Last champion of the blood. Some call you angel, some demon. Probably a little of both. Led the Knights of Wondergore against the armies of darkness until you fell at... Fell? Shoot. This is why they don't normally have me do the meet and greets. I can see why. <laughs> right. As much as I'd love to see how much weirder this conversation can go, we should probably get moving. Agreed. The prophecy is in motion. I can feel it. We have wasted too much time here already. That is Matthew Mercer. Man, the I'm others are really going to love you. Others? No, my phone's dead. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, you've got a little fan club, I think. But why spoil the surprise? Hope you're up for the challenge, chosen one. Oh, David's online, but he's... How can he be online with this late in the game? Speak to Nico. Alright. Marvel. Midnight. Suns. Cast. I don't want to know the full cast. I just want to know who voices the hunter. Aha! I knew it! It is Matthew Mercer. My critical role, uh, espionage has, uh, oh, what happens if I, ooh, I got blades, I got inventory, I got abilities, I got quest items, I got super lake. Hello. Hold up, did I miss something, or did Nico just raise the dead? No. You didn't miss anything. Hunter. Not sure if you remember me, but we met briefly before. I'm... The witch who called me back from the grave. Told you. Or Nico, but either works. And this is... Robbie Ray is. <laughs> oh, man. Never thought I'd be standing next to you. Got quite a rep. I mean, caretakers told us stories. That's Ileana. Privet. And I think you already met Blade. <laughs> I like this. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Whoa. How did you... Your power. I can feel it. I always do. So... Welcome home. I guess we... I never left. <laughs> right. Well, we can fast forward through the tour then. The Abbey is still, well, you know, the Abbey. Basic stuff. Dorms, war room, library, a few places to chill, and, uh, whatever the hell the forge is. I have to say, for a haunted transient castle raised on the cursed grounds of Old Salem, it's pretty cozy. Of course, that doesn't stop us from adding some improvements. We can all thank Robbie for the Wi-Fi. Oh, wi -Fi and one more thing. We've got some new house guests now. You think we're a fun bunch? Just wait until you meet them. Speaking of, we're here. Yeah, okay, spend 10 minutes in this place alone, Bruce, then see. Oh, <clears throat> gotta go. Just again. Mirror table. Select a mission. There is no time for a refresher. I don't want to select a mission. I want to train. I want to start building. Prophecies be damned. It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. You look old. And you look older. <laughs> I called it. How long was I in that crypt, Sarah? No more than a few centuries. You were... missed. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. 
until now. <clears throat> yeah, so speaking of Lilith... Tony? What? The kid's literally speaking of Lilith. Tony? <laughs> that's my name. Tony, that's uh, Carol and Dr. Spooky over there. Here to help. Help with what, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Throwing the magic amulet into the volcano? <sighs> Smiting the dragon mother? You tell us, kid. You are the chosen one, after all. Do you recall anything of that last encounter, child? There was... a voice. The rest is... hazy. Oh, a voice. That's it? A voice? That's what we have to go on? Results of your long crypt sleep, most likely. A minor inconvenience. Everything required to restore those memories is contained within my sanctum. I will simply alert Wanda to prepare the necessary rituals. What? Straight to voicemail? Some Sorcerer Supreme. It must be mystical interference caused by this little pocket dimension of yours. Perhaps Agatha can help. Allow me. A lot of... Whoa, what kind of network you run in there? The all-seeing eye of Ereshkigal who judges. Bound to enchanted Babylonian soul glass. We just call it the mirror table. Wanda! It's our force pushing against the wards. Stephen, where are you? That's impossible. Nothing on Earth could possibly affect those wards. I don't think Lilith's Wanda's up in trouble. Earth. Wanda is trouble. Alco. You'll need my help, of course. Then let us make haste, Dr. Spooky. Our hunt <laughs> begins now. I like it. We gotta go save Wanda. Oh, crazy day, huh? With everything going on right now, we simply cannot afford to lose contact. Left shift, you hero deck. Can I switch here? Crazy indeed. Lots of new blood around here. Some seriously powerful headliners. Customization. Powerful, yes. But how powerful, we will see. Big personality. Alright, let's go. Even given the fluctuations in the astral spectrum, I should... Are you ready? The prophecy of the Midnight Sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the Darkhold. If she forced her way into my Sanctum Sanctorum once, I suspect she can do it again. You are a Sorcerer Supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the Sanctum, my sense of the future has grown voluminous in nature. Is that another language, or...? Ah, <sighs> fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. For the first time, a Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds, and with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry. Doctor. Your sanctum will survive. We shall see to that. Indeed, the Sanctum Sanctorum has weathered its fair share of trouble over the years. Lay storms, a few short-tempered celestials that issue with the Zoning Commission. But this time, it feels different. I do not doubt Wanda's capability, but without my predictive acumen, I cannot bolster the wards should she need it. Still, the wards are woven into the Sanctum's very essence. They should hold. Should. In any should case, hold. all will be revealed with time. I suggest we make use of it while it still functions. About time. 
not just about time. Mr. Brooks, time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly, yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is... not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... Well... I'll just let her show you. We don't have time. You are standing in limbo. Nexus of all realities, both real or otherwise. A chaotic but secret realm beyond the influence of Lilith. Thus far. Are you certain of that? Because I am sensing all kinds of dark energy. That feeling you're being watched. General Hellho vibe? Yes. All these potentialities converging at once? A truly surprising feat, Miss Rasputin. For someone so young, of course. You think this is crazy? Wait until you see Manhattan. From here, magic can open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet, and beyond. We don't want to risk- Sorry, I was like... At least we know the wards of protection are still in place. For now. I suggest we hurry. New York Day. Feed all enemies. I hesitate to call this good news, but I'm seeing minimal Hydra resistance between you and the Sanctum. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the wards of protection. I don't need a tutorial. Much has changed among the world's fanatics. Okay. Hey. 
Watch closely. This should aid me in my fight. As a child, I feared the servants of Lilith. Now I teach them to fear me. That gamma spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gamma or not, work here. Time's up for these jumps. Give it a go. This is no trifling matter. Prepare yourself. Doubt they're paying you enough for what's about to happen. Should get the blood pumping. Get your mother. Oh. I've been waiting. A weak attempt. All right, I should probably take out this guy. Mama is calling out to me. I feel her struggle. And I won't be doing that again. Yeah. How invigorating. That's one hell of a move. Victory! We're going to pay for that. Bring all you got. The light will heal you. This shall be of great help. Walk in the light. I owe you one. Maybe you do not realize the trouble you are okay. in, friend. Hail Hydra! Taking the shot. That's not supposed to hurt. I have to conjure up some stamina.
yeah, yeah. You do not have to show off for me, Blade. Now that was something. Lucky shot. You're mine. That's strange. It is good to be back in the fight. It's on. I'm impressed. Oh, that was easy. Misguided as they are, remember, Hydra is still human, Hunter, not Lilin. You were saying? The lifeblood of the Mother pumps through our veins. The Mother is eternal. Hydra is eternal. What a bet. <laughs> Fallen Venom. Tips. Fallen Venom is symbiote. Binds. Can be broken by attacking them with hero waves. Hidden intentions. Well, that certainly escalated quickly. Do I even want to know what that beast is? I believe it, it is a, a Venom. venom. Until now, and that we are Clutch. We will feed your ugly tongue to the spider wizard. Marinate it in his stomach juices and eat it with the brain. Even the best can get better. A 
Sorcerer Supreme has room to go. I hope this is one of the stronger arms. We did come all the way here for a fight. Smells like spoiled milk. We may not be ready for this thing yet. I think we'll be back until we know what we're up against here. Yes. Surrender. Be eaten. Fill our belly with your tasty fear. We will make you feel regret. I feel regret. The light shines on the most dutiful. I feel stronger already. I see you. You are within our reach. For a moment. It seems I'm in the You had your chances. This is a good. Mother blesses us with power. Mother. And to think Lilith was a vegetarian. Who's next? Some for the rest of us. You will suffer for that. Ought to make things interesting. Escape a wrath. 
ready to give up just yet. I doubt I could take much more of it. I doubt they'll be up anytime soon. I defeated the fallen Venom. No escape from me, demon. Hold up. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. Friendly. Seemed like you folks could use a hand, Doc. <coughs> Spider-Man! Jeez, oh, Eddie, what happened to you? That's part of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but... Whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. We will rip your face off and suck the pearl from your bones! Always nice to see you too, buddy. So, I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? Sounds good to me. Doc. That's just his way of saying he cares! Right, so we got a gamma coil, whatever that is. And I leveled up a bunch, so it's probably good. Congratulations. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall, I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Oh, of course. I see it now. The look. Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... Than the Sanctum? Or Wanda? She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. We'll talk more later. Get some rest. Okay. 
Friendship! 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 That was a complete fiasco. That... You did okay out there, considering you were technically dead 72 hours ago. No kid. Not the outcome I envisioned for our first mission together, but... You know what they say. Today! Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time. Even, uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there. With a little help. Your oh, support is appreciated. Oh, no problem. I already got a few ideas cooking. You're not allergic to mimetic poly... You know what? Never mind. Why spoil the surprise? I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. Are, are, you, are you scared of the creepy castle, Tony? So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here. Other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Not called it. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. Thanks for the gift, Tony. I think you'll like it. It's a limited edition. A limited edition what? Oh, you'll see. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. <laughs> yeah, open the present. Hi, I'm Tony Stark. But if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. Huh? I call it the Wonder Man rule. Inspect your journal page in the closet in the painting. We were all so happy then. We were all so happy then. There was never enough room for my armor in this thing. buy anything. Okay. No, I don't want to buy anything. It's gonna make me buy something, isn't it? Uh, 
I don't. Ooh, room upgrades. Uh, yes. Give me that. Oh, this is for my Abby outfit. I can add eyeshadow? Interesting. Expect the journal page. Oh. Nice. My old journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. Where the nuggets am I? They're everywhere! We must fall back! To where? The book! Is she reading from the book? Then we advance. No! Hold the line! I can stop her! Only I can stop her! Mama? Mama? Charlie! I know, I know. I, I missed you too. Let her enjoy the moment. She's been visiting your door every morning for the past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Demon dog, maybe oh, I'm in no <laughs> rush to see you do it again. <laughs> it's so we do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to die. All dogs are good dogs, <laughs> even demon First dogs. First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. An anti-hero? I am a sure there will hero. be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. A villain. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Who's Agatha and why is why is the music get so I don't know. Charlie was heavy. restless all night. I should have known something was wrong. We'll talk more later. But for Going now. down to the forge. Holy tacos, what is this? Now, 
think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell, preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing... Mm -hmm. Yes, speaking of... Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the Venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just try it on. could have used a cloak. A cape would be cool. Stylish, damn near indestructible, and we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. I, st I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? It is nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. It was this close to making it menthol flavored. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them, too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. I take it this new version is a technological marvel? Impact-resistant carbon composites, some patent-pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built-in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. I do like that. Mm. So it is a marvel then? Lightweight, nearly indestructible, and modular enough for future upgrades. Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax the Mandarin's car. Is all this magic a threat to your new technology? I'll be right back. It might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. Isotope decay, magnetic fields, and gamma oscillation make a lot more sense to me than eye of newt, bat wings, and a sprinkle of sunshine. At least they did before everything changed.
But you and the doctor seem to work well together. Well, no need to put a label on things. The guy is good at well, making sense of this madness every now and then. One. He's not talking to his cape. Seen anything strange around here? What, other than my roommate? Boom! Roasted! But on a more serious note, this place is legitimately haunted. Mirrors look <laughs> back at you. My room rearranges itself. And worst of all, magic cats. The great Iron Man is not scared. Let's just say I'll be more comfortable once I've studied the problem. I feel like I'm living in one of those paranormal investigation reality shows. What sort of things are you doing in here? Oh, that's right. You were out a while. Basically, we've got a gigantic demon inside the magic box here that provides near limitless power for whatever we might need. Sounds insane, but sometimes it's easier to just go with it. impressed with your resourcefulness. From where you're standing, I could see that. Still, I doubt I'll be branding one of these with the Stark Industries logo anytime soon. You must have an interesting origin story of your own. Well, just your typical American boy. Pops was a founding member of the military-industrial complex. Mom, a famous socialite. Tragedy struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT trying to clear my head. I was all set to follow in Dad's footsteps as a war profiteer. Then one day, fortune shined on me, in the form of some errant shrapnel that lodged itself just above my heart. So I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built a super suit and started fighting crime. <clears throat> you seem well-adjusted enough, considering. Exactly, which means there's hope for you yet. I find these apocalypse scenarios will save you tons of therapy. <laughs> Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things, remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Okay. the anvil. Where? Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye old demon hunting school, so I'm just gonna give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They are using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, <laughs> I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? Got more coil for me? Got some upgrades for you, hot off the press, or forge. Hmm. Hunter, when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard.
Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? Uh, yes, Baggy. I did, but they are about you. Right when it's time to train? From all Sarah told us about you, she never described you as lazy. I learn faster if I understand the person who trains me. I can respect that. Go ahead. Can I ask about you? I guess. Is your name really Blade? Is your name really the Hunter? Yes. Oh, I... Really? Your mom, before she became the mother of demons, looked into your cradle and decided to name her firstborn child the Hunter. I mean, maybe. That is how I understand it. It takes all kinds. So... Is your name really Blade? No. What is it? It's private. <laughs> is it embarrassing? No, the Hunter. But I only share it with friends. You do not consider me a friend? Not yet. Don't take it personally. How did you become a Dampir? You say that like I had a choice. I was born this way. How is that possible? A vampire bit my mother. Problem was, I was still in the womb. I'm lucky I was even born. Don't know if that's how it always is, but that's the way it went down for me. How long have you been around? I don't exactly know. I think of myself as mid-twenties, maybe. I lost a lot of time. Much of the last century was a blur. I have occasional memories, almost like coming up for air before being yanked back down into the depths. What happened? I killed a lot of vampires. I hadn't lost my mind exactly, but I got into a rhythm and never stopped. Never had a reason to stop. Not until I met Caretaker. And then? She gave me a reason to stop. Hmm. What brought you to the Abbey? Caretaker. About ten years ago, she brought me back to the real world. Gave me a place to stay until I came back to myself. Did she ever say why? She said she thought I'd be able to kill more vampires if I was acting on more than just instinct. But I know it was more than that. She gave me safe haven here at the Abbey. Something I'd never known. Must have read half the books in the library by the time I headed out. So when she reached out and asked me to be part of this weird little club, of course I showed up. All right, let's ask about Tell the Midnight Suns. the Midnight Suns. All right. Why did you join? Vampire hunting is a solitary affair. Guess I never found the right team. Is that all? No, but that's all I'll share for now. You really want to know? Put in the work. If I trust you, I'll have more to say. What can you tell me about the others? Nothing. Ask them yourself. I'm not asking you to break anyone's confidence. Fine. Which one? Uh, Nico. Tell me about Nico. She's the youngest, but she acts like she's in charge. Why let her act like that? She's usually right, and she keeps us on track. I didn't think we'd get along, but we wouldn't be the Midnight Suns without her. What makes you say that? She has a lot of heart, and that's why we let her. Anyone else? What about Robbie? He's exactly what he seems. Well, sort of. He's open with people, easy going. Sometimes that comes across as dopey, but don't get the wrong impression. He's quick to make friends, and once he does, he's your friend for life. So don't let him down, or I'll hold it against you. Anyone else? 
What do you know about magic? Keeps to herself. That is it? She's a private person. Until she lets you in, that's all you need to know. When does she let people in? At her own pace. Respect that, and it'll happen faster than you think. Who else? Tell me what you think of Sarah. Well, there are few people I tolerate, even less who I like. Sarah, I respect. She sees the big picture, and we're a part of it. I'd follow her to hell if I had to. And from what I understand, we may have to. Oh my. I am surprised she commands such respect. I'm surprised that you're surprised. You know what she's like more than any of us. I do. Who else? Nobody else. Sure. Do you have any thoughts on the team as a whole? I think we're the only ones aware of the danger Lilith poses to this world. And I think we're pretty green. But enough training will get us through it. Speaking of training, we doing this, or are we gonna keep wasting daylight? Not yet. I had more questions. Of course you do. Thanks, Blade. Mm-hmm. Sure. Back again. We've got plenty of tricks for old dogs. No excuses here. See you around. What's up? Huh. Thanks, Blade. Mm-hmm. Sure. Like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. Uh, you can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding. <laughs> Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie, going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the Sanctum. That's true. Every lock has its key. True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. That's true. As in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. How about we start now? Well, if there is any time to put your powers of persuasion to work, now is the time, Captain. Trust me, Hunter, I'm looking forward to it. Hydra's been a thorn in me and Steve's asses for years. Can't wait to remove them for good. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. Alright, got a new hero! Let's go to the war room. Nothing is certain these days, but these readings are too distinct to ignore. The Gamma signature is... Sorry, Bruce, we lost you. Did you say Gamma? Yes, get. Uh, hang on a second. Come on, Tony. You managed to stream the Super Bowl to a Kree battleship 50 light years out. This should be easy. Oh, we waited all year for that game, and you know the Skrulls would have spoiled it for us if they got the chance. Huh. Well, can't you just... What? Ow. The gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is impossible. If the gamma signature from the Sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just... Sorry, still working out a few gremlins in the system. 
Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. <laughs> Wait, you're being serious? We should be able to track this new gamma signature to its source then, right? I'd do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chunk. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. I heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey, come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. Creepy abandoned warehouse in the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. Find me when you're ready. All right, looks like we're going on another mission, boys. Multi-million dollar piece of experimental technology, and she kicks it. Okay, let's see. It was just recently that the Hudson Yards Development Restoration Association purchased... Until I get more. All right, let's start. Let's see. Trench coat, sunglasses at night. Reading. Gamma signatures and unstable isotopes aren't really in my wheelhouse, so we'll be patching Dr. Banner through from Avengers Tower once you reach the other side. Got it. off the description of this place. You seeing this, Bruce? Getting all sorts of weird down there. Yo, Han Fanoff. That dick. I heard he was dead. Well, hoped is perhaps the more accurate description. Calls himself Faustus now. Dr. Faust, the smartest fanatic in the room. It's a small room. <laughs> I just resident mad scientist. Not just Hydras. Liliths. That's magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil-looking hydrotech down there. 
your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel, not hammer. Stealth, not strength. Yeah, I don't do stealth. Kill them. <laughs> Feed all enemies to complete this encounter. I've always considered Faustus a bit of a crackpot, but his fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce. Now oh, that was something. I think they like me. A weak attempt. They're still not ready to give up? I've never been one to buy into the science of magic, but the data I'm seeing is hard to ignore. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio. An alien hybrid and a resurrected demon hunter, right? in the light. All right. I need to the support. Can't tell if they're brave or just stupid. You just made a big mistake. I must have angered them. Is it possible he somehow stabilized the rate of decay within the particles themselves? Ah! I don't know, Bruce. I'll be sure to ask him when we're done punching out the bad guys. Don't blame. Him. Interesting. for people like us to beat up chumps like you. Slow me down. Perhaps Faustus's device is worth further study. If you wouldn't mind, Carol, I'd prefer it if you and your supernatural associates not... Smash it? Yes. So that's how that works. Too weak for this fight. Yeah, yeah. Go, now, quickly! Let's go, go, go! Ah, the perfect.
perfect opportunity to field test mother's device. Cover the artifact from the truck. Got it. For the record, Bruce, I did not smash that thing. Noted, Carol. Perhaps you might direct all that energy towards your newfound adversaries instead. And the mysterious cargo they're attempting to escape with? There was a time when Lilith had the highest of standards for her minions. Asked. They really want to get on my bad side. I almost felt that one. Oh, blades down. Reinforcements on approach. Preliminary analysis of the blast confirms high levels of gamma and various unknown energies. Unknown to you. The dark magic at work here. You must not let Hydra escape with it. Behold the light's gift. No mercy for the servants of the Weak, even for Hydra. You've had this coming. Keep trying. Oh Maybe you'll get lucky. Crystal clear. We won't be able to recreate Faustus' experiment or track potential future variance gamma signatures without a baseline resonant sample from his initial occult catalyst. Stop it. You've really got a one-track mind. Here it comes. Sounds to me like they just missed their mama. One less thing to worry about. Approximately 16,342 more to go. I suggest starting with the remaining Hydra forces in your vicinity. By her command. All right, I got the artifact.
lucky shot. Infuriating, even. I suppose by now I'd normally be tromping through the warehouse hurling the puny truck at the moon. Don't worry, Bruce. I've got a pair of torn purple pants with your name on them. <laughs> Focus on me. One of ours is down. A pathetic attempt at intimidation. I am afraid you might not make it back from this one. Truly your best? Ought to make things interesting. You're done. You are a force to be reckoned with. All right. Payback's gonna be fun. your aid. Watch close. Your mother. <laughs> Let's do this. Leave some for the rest of us. Exactly what I needed. This shouldn't take too long. You asked for it. It's weirdos like these that give people like us a bad name. And I thought man thing was ugly. <laughs> We've All done right. it. Placimo, we did it. What is this thing? Bad guy crate, full of bad guy stuff. He's right. I know those symbols. From the time of the first hunt, that cliff means barrier. That one, almighty, something, something. Gods and demons. So a spooky bad guy crate. Very spooky. Designed to contain powerful magic. Be careful. <sighs> Got it. Don't cross the streams. Never do. How about we get this thing back to the Abbey and see for ourselves? Victory! Oh yeah.
Nice job out there, kid. I mean, I didn't get Hydra bombed until my tenth run with the Avengers. Kid, you do know that I'm a good three centuries older than you, right? And you've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, Abbey Tournament tonight. Sure about that? Last one got a little heated. The Eternal Spirits of Vengeance take technical fouls very seriously, especially in the fourth quarter. Forget it. Tonight is movie night. <sighs> it is always movie night. Exactly. Wow, out of jail again? Who made this game? Wilson Fisk? Well, if parking is free, clearly no one from Manhattan. <laughs> you know what they say, all work and no play is how we ended up with Ultron. Come on, you should hang out. I should rest another time. At least go change, man. Let me see, how did this work again? I, I, I don't want to say, I want to come hang out. Getting hard to keep finding ways to stay open door around here. And despite what Robbie says, I don't think the staff of one speaks high elven. Blood magic stuff. Cool room. Spacious. Aw, is that bed for Charlie? Yes. So, if you're planning on giving me some sort of brooding code of the stoic warrior speech, I'm immune. Just ask later, Magic. From what I just saw out there, whatever crazy ancient living weapon stuff Caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number on you. We got a lot of work to do. Work? Yeah, talking to people, making friends, basic human stuff, or quasi-human. <laughs> You're a midnight sun now, one of us. I like Nico, that. I was just Hydra bombed. I could use some rest. You and me both. Been bad dreams every night for me lately. I, uh, keep seeing Wanda. She... Never mind. I will meet you outside. Yes! I'll go nuke us some popcorn and you pick out a movie. Oh, and it may just be the two of us. The others went outside, needed to cool off. Really need to hang a fan over that forge. Or maybe crack open the casket of Agent Winters a little? <laughs> hang on. I, 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 I want to... I want I want an outfit. I want... Oh, customization. New outfit. New outfit. Oh, I know you. Why is that locked? Research. What do you mean research? Frames. Well, frame B. Alright. <sighs> These missions can't be Hang good. Hang on. I, 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 sorry, Nick. Uh, I, it's not you. I just want to look at something real quick. I believe it'd 
be at the forge. Research stuff. I want to research stuff. That is something. I need to research things. One of twenty two for carrot. Tarot cards found. The moon. Interesting. What is this? Curious. Gaining knowledge. Fascinating. What you doing, Charlie? I love it. I love that that's a button. I, I love that that's a button. Not now. I'm kind of getting the impression Doctor Strange is a little bit of a hoarder. I mean, just because it's magical junk doesn't mean it's not junk. You know what they call an artifact that only works in a pocket dimension once every 10,000 years? Arcane key. Found the strength. Oh, it's Thor. Yeah, I haven't really explored this area. I'll go outside. Off time to lounge. I have attack essence. Interesting. Blades training. Cracks in this wall. Can I can I hit it?
one's that? Huge area. So much to explore. Intriguing. Some of the land. Ah, breaker of I chains. See. Intriguing. Our fighter, our heart. Curious. So much to explore. All right, let's go watch a movie with Nico. As something tells me, you don't have a favorite movie. Well. We can start you out with one of my favorites. I know this entire situation's gotta suck for you. Not just the whole resurrected chosen one thing. I get why facing Lilith won't be easy. I was 15 when I found out my mother was capital E evil. Sorry to hear you went through that. It was bad, but I learned to deal with it. It's the only way forward, right? Look, I'm glad my mother is gone, but yeah, at times I just want to hear her voice again. Some days I'd give anything to make that happen. It makes me hate her even more. I did not realize you carried such pain. I just learned to bury it. You think I can afford a therapist on a superhero salary? I'm kidding. We don't get paid for this. Uh, enough about our crappy parents. You missed out on decades of good movies. It's my solemn duty to fill this knowledge gap with the best examples I can provide. <laughs> so, the first thing you need to know, the glowing briefcase is a metaphor. Can we do it again? So, what did you think of the movie? Friendship. I understood more than I should. How? You've been dead for three centuries. I'm not so sure I was dead. Not exactly. I recall a deep slumber, not the void. I... I dreamt. Of what? Of everything. Much of this world is familiar to me. I know it from my dreams. Uh, that's not creepy at all. So, do you know everything? No, I... Uh, think of it like this. I know what a car is, but I have no idea how to drive. You're up to date, but not omniscient. <laughs> then I'm guessing you don't know much about me. Just what you shared earlier. You're always free to ask. Like, what's the staff of one? Or who were the runaways? Okay. I had some questions about your staff. Uh, sure. Uh, but first, um, the basics. The staff of one interprets words or phrases as spells, but it can only cast a spell once. No repeats. How does that work exactly? Can you tell me how the Staff of One functions? It's uh, blood magic, so my own blood is required to summon it. You wouldn't believe how many adhesive bandages I go through each year. What about the words you speak? They come true. 
Uh, kind of, and not always the way I expect. It's like making a wish, but you can never make the same wish again. I had some questions about your staff. Go for it. If each magical effect is unique, do you worry you will run out of words? Not really. I only use the staff's power when I truly need it. The rest of the time, I rely on more conventional means. Like, you know, magic. Hmm. I had some questions about your old team. The Runaways? Sure thing. Were you all heroes who banded together? No, we were normal kids. We saw each other once a year when our parents got together to reminisce. And then we found out two very disturbing things. <laughs> First, our parents were supervillains who sacrificed children to evil gods. Second, each of us had some sort of powerful birthright. Our parents wanted us to follow in their footsteps. What hmm. did you do? We ran, but eventually we realized only the six of us could stop our parents and their dark gods, so we faced them and stopped them from destroying reality as we know it. You know, typical kid stuff. <laughs> Yep, typical kid stuff. Who was on the team? At first, uh, Chase with his mad science gear, Molly, our pint-sized powerhouse, Carolina, the solar-powered sweetheart. Gert had a telepathic link to Old Lace, a genetically engineered Deinonychus from the 87th century. I handled the blood magic, though I didn't understand it much. And Alex? Uh, well, we don't talk about Alex. Where are your friends now? Molly attends Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters. Carolina left Earth to marry alien nobility. Gert... She, uh... She didn't make it. After Gert passed, uh, Chase and I had a falling out. The last I heard, he and Old Lace are living at his family home in L.A. As for Alex, uh... He chose his side, and it wasn't ours. He died with our parents. Oh. I, I didn't know that. Going. I only know about the runaways from the show. Uh, good good timing. Um, looks like Caretaker wants to speak with you, and wow, I should get to bed. Time flies when you're hanging out. I'm glad to see you're using your free time productively. Looks like you're finding your way around. Maybe making some new friends. I was planning on getting some rest, but... Things are moving at a frantic pace. For all we know, I'll be landing a jet on the roof with Mr. Stark this afternoon. <sighs> Not quite like it was in the good old days. Change can to be To stand still is to move back. You got that one from Agatha. She used to say it all the time. I always preferred, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Used to. I am sorry. I should have had this talk with you much sooner. But you should know... Agatha... She's no longer with us. What? Th that is impossible. She was so... Fierce. Indomitable. Or maybe just kind to a fault. The loss could not have been easy for you. Thank you for that, but it's not just my loss. It's all of ours. And what makes this loss even harder to accept is that it was completely avoidable. Agatha died in an accident caused by her protege. Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. The Midnight Sun's latest recruit, a powerful spellcaster in her own right. Perhaps the most powerful Agatha and I had ever seen. Hmm. Wanda's abilities were growing. Too quickly for my liking. Agatha was determined to help her control them. I tried to caution her, but she would not listen. There was an incident. An accident, I'm sure, but... 
Agatha was killed. Yes, incinerated in an instant. Not even Ash to remember her by. The others were heartbroken, as was I. But I also saw the danger, the threat, if Wanda's powers were left unchecked. So I did what needed to be done. I sent Wanda away, to the Sanctum Sanctorum, to study under Doctor Strange. So I knew that's the how others she still ended harbor up a great deal of resentment towards me for it. Was Wanda so different from me as a child? Was it that easy to send her away? I didn't have a choice. Wanda's powers were beyond even her own control. And this time I had no Agatha to help me, as I had with you. I thought she would be safe with Strange. On that part, at least, I was clearly mistaken. Ah, oh, Wanda. Agatha. It seems we've lost them both now. I conjured a small shrine to Agatha's memory on the grounds, hoping to find some solace, a way to move forward. You should pay your respects. Maybe you'll find what I couldn't. Good night, Hunter. Balance. A hunter can follow the path of light or dark. Though there are choices, they make it to the abbey. The abilities used in combat, powerful words unlocked as the hunter moves down either way. Show me, boy. Show me, boy. Where's, th where's the shrine, boy? Where's the shrine? Where's the shrine? Where is it at? Where is it at? That's it, boy. Sniff it out. Sniff it out. Sniff it out. You're alive? Agatha! You always did have the most remarkable eyes, Hunter. Just like your mother's. Maybe that's why you're the first. The first? To commune with the spirits, of course. <laughs> Is this a trick of some kind? Because I am not amused. No, oh, it's no trick, dear. You're just the first to see me. By now, you've heard I had a bit of trouble with my corporeal body. Mm, something I like that. I actually find it quite liberating. You are dead. Always straight to the heart of things. That's my hunter. You seem strangely at ease about this whole thing. After a thousand years of living, you learn to take things in stride. Even death. And what have you been doing all this time? Meet me by the cave just over there. You know the one. The Bloodgate? Caretaker always told me to stay away from that place. I think we can safely lift the veil on a few more of our secrets. What's the worst that can happen? I don't know. I could get incinerated. That, that seems pretty... Seems pretty bad. Like there's a storm I'm brewing. This ominous looking portal is known as a blood gate, and you're the only one among us who can pass through it. Blood gate? Caretaker's handiwork? Yes, Sarah got a little overprotective after the accident with Wanda. It's become something of a habit for her. I have noticed that. What lies beyond is meant for you, as much as it ever was for her. Assuming you're up to the challenge, that is. You know I am. I do. But it's always polite to ask. Ominous indeed. Blood gate. Not what you were expecting, is it? 
There was a time when the blood stood within these celestial halls to prove their worth. This particular arena belongs to a goddess who often favored Sarah, Ashtor. Sarah, caretaker, was here? Nothing ever comes easy, dear. The Elder Gods felt their descendants needed to earn their blessings, which is why they created these trials to begin with. Trials? I should have known. This entire realm exists for that purpose. Trial by combat, with no chance of outside interference. And this is my challenge. Yes, but I may have found a loophole they never considered. Why don't you try summoning your four-legged friend? <laughs> Charlie? The old gods are responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear. Beat all enemies, complete this count. As the goddess of balance and order, Ashtor was sometimes called the giver of justice. You can expect a fair fight, or at least her idea. You were too weak for this fight. Your mother abandoned. These hellhounds are nothing but mindless. Enemies. Don't hesitate to strike. They certainly won't. They cannot possibly match your strength. Leave some for the rest of us. As a child, I feared the servants of the Now I teach them to fear. Team is falling apart. You can imagine why Sarah was so fond of Ashtor. If I didn't know better, I would say she modeled her role as caretaker. Feel my call. Your time has come. Once again, Lilith's servants fall. Return to your mother. Good girl, Charlie. Oh, and you too, Hunter. You finish this trial, but don't worry. The other gods are waiting. Big crack of lightning outside my window. Uh, doesn't this seem a little bit demonic? Sarah was right to be wary of this place. 
But it's your birthright, and I think after everything you've been through, you can handle it now. The two of you, as well as your mother, are the last of your kind, the blood. Your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves. And if you call upon them, you might just find they're actually listening. They won't work miracles for you, but their blessings can be quite useful in the right circumstance. Why don't you ask the goddess Oshtor for her aid in dealing with that barrier over there? What barrier? Uh, hold the space bar to use a word power. Blessings of the goddess. After all this time, it's still just as beautiful as the first time I laid eyes on it. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the way from Transia. Of course, it was no coincidence that they wound up so close to Salem. This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. That's why the oh Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. Oh my. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. <laughs> and now I'm rambling on like an old Sorcerer Supreme. You mean Dr. Spooky? Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and... Let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah... Caretaker isn't ready to see me yet. I good night. Don't Hunter. know if that's a good idea. I want to go to sleep. <sighs> New gamma coil to analyze. <clears throat> Thing on. Uh, Hunter, please come to the forge at your earliest convenience. Again, that's Hunter to the forge. Thank you. Uh, strange out. Hunter, just in time. His royal weirdness and I were deciding what to do with that nasty little Hydra gift box you found. Ah, yes. The spooky crate? The very one. Though it is far from any mere container, I assure you. I am detecting powerful emanations from inside. If this is a sign of what Hydra is after, I fear we are all in grave danger. My offer still stands. I could fly the thing up and nuke it in orbit. Only way to be sure. Or we could open it, Tony, and perhaps use the mystical energies I sense inside to our advantage. Yeah, I heard a we in there. <laughs> Green goopy gamma serums are one thing. I'm not opening boxes full of Mummy curses. Uh, Tony's you got don't idea. have to. Hunter, if you'll allow me. Your second funeral, boss. Hmm. Ooh, new coil. Let's get to work. Uh, don't be now. Take your pick, Hunter. How long did you say you were exposed to this thing? Eh, it's probably fine. Oh well. Whatever artifact is inside, it's better off. Caretaker isn't big on the idea of hardwiring this place to an arc reactor. It's far. We desperately need to get into this crate. Uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea, Doctor Strange. <laughs> you know, I I, I kind of agree with Tony. I think oh, we should just. It's good to see you. I think we should just nuke it from orbit and be done with it.
uh, she I believes opened. in our purpose. I opened it. Chicken mushroom. Gods are fickle. Curious. Interesting. I was always drawn to this place as a child, but somehow I had almost forgotten about it. Hmm. That is something. Arcane levels. Hunter increase arcane levels. This rubble looks loose. No. Nope. Goddess disagrees. Mortal Goddess Kombat. of Order approves. What's this? There's so many things. There's more of that st stone signal. My old fort. I never got the chance to truly know my mother. Only the monster she became. This place is massive. Standing stones. There is powerful magic at work here. Okay. I need to find the next moon seal. Seer known as Endra Moore is buried here. Much like Nico, her powers came dangerously close to crossing the line, but she was among the most loyal of the Midnight Suns. 
This is which sign? Can't keep going forward. Alright, time to go investigate, see if I can find anything else. Oster guides my hand. I found an arcane key. I can finally open one of those thingies. What is this? Must be where Robbie keeps his car. Oh, I'm so excited I found a key. There's so much to discover. So much lore. Only one of their eyes is lit up. Not a grave.
nice. Alright, let's go talk to Doctor Strange. I think we put off this long enough, though. I have been recording for like three hours, so. Ah, I won't finish this. If Hydra is now working to acquire mystical antiquities, then our situation is very dire indeed. We need to find a way to gain the upper hand. And you think you can do it with whatever's in the container? Tony has one of the greatest scientific minds that I've ever seen. I, of course, have an unparalleled understanding of the mystic arts. I have no doubt that we can find a way to research whatever we find in there and have it work in our favor. I just wonder what it could be. I want to make something powerful. How is destroying it? I hope the two of you create something powerful. I want to stop Lilith quickly and decisively. As I said, I'm sure it can help us. I just need to convince Tony to set his ego aside. His discomfort with the esoteric nature of the arcane might be a problem. But Tony's eccentricities aside, I know you can make this work. Right now, with the sanctum out of my reach, I'm fighting with one hand tied behind my back. Metaphorically, that is. If I can find items to research, I can give the Midnight Suns every possible advantage over Lilith and her disciples. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Me too, Hunter. Now, all this talk is going nowhere unless we can get this container open and study what's inside. Approach the anvil, Hunter. We do not have time to spare. Are there any curses I should be aware of? By the hoary hosts of Hoggoth, I, I can hardly believe it. What? Is it worse than you expected? No, it's totally unexpected. It's the Eternity Dagger. This was in a place of honor in my bedchamber in the Sanctum for years. The Sanctum Sanctorum is no common domicile to be burglared. These barbarians have no idea what they possessed. Well, perhaps they did. Maybe these artifacts are exactly what Faustus and my mother were after to begin with. A distressing thought. If they had my dagger, then who knows what others of my priceless possessions have passed through their greedy fingers. The cube of nothingness. The tear of Provia, and most worrisome of all. Your toothbrush? You, huh? uh, had a little coffee thing going on this morning with your breath? Oh, Tony. Sorry. Doc's right, Hunter. I drank three glasses of holy water just to walk through the Sanctum's front door. The place is like a doomsday vault for all sorts of supernatural nastiness. We need to put a lid on this mess. Pronto. I believe Carol is already working on it. At last. Now that this artifact has been returned to its proper owner, we shall see if we can make use of the mystic forces contained within. It's not entirely worthless, just not especially valuable either. I thought you would choose that one. Complete three.
Okay, so I gotta wait. Hey, Hunter. Uh, got a sec to spare? Alright, hang on. You... You've been here more in the past few days than I have since... ever. The forge is pretty badass. But the creature trapped inside riles up my own inner demon. Um, speaking of... There's something you should know about me. You are bonded with a spirit of vengeance? Damn, you're good! How could you tell? You are not the first spirit of vengeance to join the Midnight Suns. I fought beside another, just a few days... <clears throat> three centuries ago. Oh man, um... Sometimes when I have crap to work through, I like to get my blood pumping. Why don't we hit the yard for a sparring session? I know Sparky's excited to meet you. Sparky? That's what I call my spirit of vengeance. His real name is something you'd see written on a symbol, but with like 12 apostrophes. Also, he's not allowed inside after the incident with caretaker Sumerian Sofa. Hmm. I look forward to it. It would be my honor to spar with the spirit of vengeance. <laughs> wow, he's real excited. Never thought he'd get bouncy, but here we are. Okay, let's do this. I'll get Blake to set things up. Won't take a minute. I will head to the yard. Um, when you and Sparky trade places, what does he look like? He's the guy with the flaming metal skull and hellfire chains. Kinda hard to miss. Fascinating. Hunter, ready to get your burn on? I'm talking. Ready for more? I still say we should have built a firing range. <laughs> Every day, Hunter can choose a new partner to spar with, increase their friendship, and unique rewards. Maybe you should be the spirit. Hunter, report to the war room. We've got a mission. All right, all right, guys. Well, it is currently nine o'clock, so I think that's a good place to call this series of videos a quits. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys like more Marvel Sons, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I might be back with this game tomorrow, but my friendly neighborhood comes out tomorrow, so Gotta I might be downloading, you. uh, that. Uh, Is that your way of getting my attention? What's up? Crazy world you woke up to, Hunter. Hydra running around causing trouble. Apocalypse prophecies. The Bronx. <laughs> the Bronx. It is indeed, Daywalker. And that op against Faustus. The way Captain Marvel just absorbed that bomb. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yes, she is quite the Marvel. <laughs> I see what you did there, and you're not wrong. Never met a gal who could throw me into the sun before. She is a formidable ally in our struggle against Lilith. Hell yeah, she is. Smart, quick-witted, fearless, hell, she even glows. That is a good and sign. do you find all of your allies equally impressive? Yes. No. Wait, wait. What are you trying to say? Oh, nothing. <laughs> you are not used to expressing feelings of affection, are you? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> my apologies. And if I did, this ain't my first rodeo, you know? Of course it is not. Whatever a rodeo is. Yeah. Well, now that that's settled, maybe I should go sharpen my stakes or something. And maybe we should keep this uh, chat to ourselves for now. Fair enough. Alright, guys. Before I get distracted by anything else, uh, thank you guys again, and we'll see you tomorrow. My Friendly Neighborhood comes out tomorrow, which is the puppet horror game, so I will definitely be playing that tomorrow so i'm very excited about that 
So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.